Okay, so what we've got are some cover images. Now, the original size um, is different to the size I need to use. The finished size should be about 150 by 150 pixels. That's a good size to go in my database form. Um, however, the original ones, when I get them off the internet, are usually bigger than that. So I'm going to show you a quick way using Photoshop, to, um, or two different ways, actually, that you can resize the photos down to make them more useful for your database. So I'm going to open up Photoshop. Inside Photoshop, there's lots of ways of opening images. I'm just going to double click the gray area. I'm going to go into my folder. So this is the folder where I've got my stuff saved. I'm going to pick the black eyed peas and I'm going to hit control click and choose Jason Mirage. So I'm selecting two different images and I'm going to say open. Now you'll notice when it opens, they put one in each tab. So I'm going to show you two different ways of doing something. So first of all, the black eyed peas. If I look at the image size, Okay, the image size to start with is 300 by 300. I actually want it to be half that size. I want it to be 150 by 150. So I'm just going to type in 150. You'll see that the bottom one changed to 150 as well because I've got this scale and constrain ticks on. And I've already made sure that I'm on pixels. I don't want it to be on anything else because they'll be too big. Once I've done that, all I've got to do is click OK. And it will shrink down my picture perfectly. Now that picture now is on 100% and that's 150 by 150. All I need to do is to resave it. So the easiest thing is to do file save as and, and actually instead of saving it in the original size one, put it into a, a new one which is I've called cover images. Give it a name and hit save. I'm, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it but that's what you would do. That's the first way. The second way, I'll have a look at this other one, Jason Miraz. Now on this one you might find for some reason that you don't want something around the edges or you might find that the picture you've got is not actually a square to start with. So what you can do is you can choose, um, you've got a lot of different tools here, you've got a cropping tool. On your cropping tool, you can see I've already done it once, I'll take these out so it starts off blank. On my cropping tool I can type in the size of the crop I want. So I'm going to say 150 and then I'm going to put PX. If you don't put the PX it will do it in centimeters and that's much bigger. So 150 by 150, press enter. It now knows that when I drag my cropping tool, first of all, it will only allow me to create a square because it knows it's 150 by 150 is a square. I can position this selection anywhere on my screen. So what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of all the white around this album that I don't even want, and then it resizes the rest of it to 150. So watch what happens when I tick or click on the tick now to say confirm. Okay, it shrinks it down to 150 by 150 and gets rid of the bits I don't want. So now I've got another image that I can do file save as and save. And that one will be 150 as well. So I can do that with all my different photos so that when I put them into my um, the form of my database and click through them, they will all be exactly the same size. Okay, good luck.